What's up, everybody? Grid by Guru here, and today what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of give a very, very quick review and kind of show you what the power of Ganium is. So if you are not familiar with Ganium.io, it is a new, um, a new platform. It uses um, API, and it goes into whatever um, exchange your choice is. And what you can end up doing, if you watch my last video, you can end up kind of customizing bots to do what you are wanting it to do. And so I've got three bots I've been running, and I'm going to kind of give you an update on those. So um, if we go back, so if I go back on a daily, I'm going to show you the three bots here in a little bit, but you're going to notice that this is my profit. So all of these bars I am in profit on, whether it's um, as little as 23 cents or it is as much as 1120. Um, and I'm going to show you those those bots as well. So um, February 11th, I did not have anything started. And then February 12th is when I first started my bots. Um, and I'm going to show you kind of where those all fit in. If we scroll down, you're going to see that I got three trading bots open. Um, I've got two that are currently in profit, so they're staying in profit. Currently, my total profit is $27. Unrealized profit right now is $0.58 cents off of just my trading bots. Um, and here are my latest orders. So I have an ETH USDT, I've got a Bitcoin USDT, and if we keep going down, you're gonna see an INJ USDT. And I'm gonna show you those bots, I'm gonna kinda of show you the differences in those. So let's go ahead, let's get started. I'm gonna go over to my trading bot uh, tab, and here are my three trading bots. With the way the market is, what I wanted to do is, I wanted to do the DCA. I wanted to do DCA bots, um, these two are the exact, basically, type of bot, and I kind of wanted to show you, give you guys kind of an update on those. So I've not done anything with these. Um, what I have done is I've started them. So my Bitcoin bot was started eight days ago, 13 hours. My ETH bot was seven days and three hours. So I've had, um, I think... I think I've gone 18 rounds, and that means it has bought and sold 18 different times for profit. My ETH has bought and sold 29 times for profit. Okay. Uh, I didn't want to hit that button. I'm sorry. But what we'll do is we'll go ahead and I'll click on the, maybe it, maybe it would have brought me to the same spot. So this is what my Bitcoin bot looks like you're going to see that I have several DCA orders. Now I could have, what I wanted to do, legit, I went to the daily. And when I first started out, my last order was around this area. So it was around 20,000. Now, as you guys know, Bitcoin has gone up some, it is currently going down some, but the main thing is it's staying in that grid now if it goes out of that grid i'm not going to stress over it because it is bitcoin i do feel like it's going to continue going up eventually but i was kind of that was my first bot i was playing with it and i really liked what i was seeing so if we go down and we look at so i have i think i had a one percent profit take uh take profit so every time it hit 1% profit, it would take that. I have 10 DCA orders. Um, the DCA order amount is 20. Um, the order steps are 0.75%. Okay, so at this point, my total for this bot is around $300. Um, and I believe the total drop that it would be able to still continue holding on would be a 7% deviation, which means that at this point, what it can do from the first order all the way down to 7% um, is get, or is 7%. So if it stays within that 7% range, I think 
that is what it's saying. As long as that Bitcoin stays in that 7% range, that it will be able to um, still, like that's the biggest drop that it can handle. If it, if it goes at 8%, it's going to be out of range and I'll have to wait until my take profit is hit. Now, a couple different things I want to show you about this though, and I'm going to zoom into one hour. <clears throat> one of the things I really like about it is you can end up kind of adjusting it and you can end up seeing where all your stuff is lining up. So I know that right now, currently, my break even is 24,897. I am currently sitting at 24,794. So I am technically negative on this round. However, even if I DCA all, if I go all the way to the bottom and hit every one of those buys, my final break even would be 24,224. So I really enjoy looking and being able to see, hey, here's where I'm at. Here's where my whole order is and it's just it's very comforting to know that you can see it on that on that chart now if i go i wanted to make another one my eth but i didn't want it quite as i felt like the bitcoin was kind of aggressive um, and i wanted to be able to um, make some see what i could do with quicker trades and so what I ended up doing again, I did the I did the one or the total, I did the one day, and I looked at it on the daily. So right now you end up having because you, ETH moves a little bit more than Bitcoin, so you have some you have some bars that they have some a lot of movement. So right now you can see that my break even is at sixteen ninety five. Currently, right now, my take profit is 17.11. It looks like I think we're sitting at 16.93. I'd have to zoom in a little bit. But with this bot, I ended up doing a base order of 10 still. Um, and I did a take profit of 0.75%. And so my steps, again, were 1%, step scale, 1%, volume scale. So this bot i believe can handle a deviation of 10 percent, so it can handle a 10 percent drop but it only has 110 in the total value of the bot again kind of just playing around with it wanting to see what all it can do i'm enjoying it right now now my last bot and this is going to be the one that i kind of end on and then i'll go back to where we're at is the inj usdt this one is um a bot that it, it came out like it, the platform updated and ganium was able to update and so i wanted to use it too because let me go down um okay it does not it does not show where it's at um Oh, I'd have to edit my bot. I don't want to edit it right now. But this one actually has a trailing take profit. And so with INJ, I noticed that sometimes when it swings, it swings really, really hard. And I didn't just want a 1% profit. So what I ended up doing was I put a 4% profit, I think, and then a 2% trailing take profit. So what that means is um, that when it goes up, if it hits a 4% profit, it will immediately trigger that 2% take profit. So what I ended up doing was I looked at the daily. Looked at the daily here. And you're going to notice if I like if I go to say this bar. This bar it moved 22%, just that bar. That bar is 6%, so it had a 6% drop. Um, you have so I'm just going to keep going. 6% three percent three percent six percent three percent nineteen percent ten percent so those are all basic movements so i felt like inj could probably move four percent on a good day but like this day right here if we look at it it moved ten percent that day this the next day it's five point six one percent and that is just from open 
to close. Okay, so open to close. That's going to be, that's not the high to low. That's the open to close. And so what you end up having is like today, currently right now, we're at 0.98%. Not a whole lot of movement, but I'm not going to stress about it because I do believe it'll come down and come back up. We have, and again, I did not use a whole lot in this spot. I think it's uh, 135 total, but my deviation is 20%. So if it drops 20%, then I should still be able to be good with that drop. Now, if we go all the way back, we'll go to the trading pot, trading bots tab. So currently, this is another tab I really enjoy looking at because it's very, very easy to look at. You can have three dots up here. What you can end up doing is you can end up talking or telling it which columns you do want and which you don't want. Um, I just keep it the same because it kind of resets every time. There's not really a way that it saves, I don't believe. But you can name your bot. So I have my, so I started an ETH long bot and the first one didn't fire right. I set it up wrong, didn't have the minimum buy price in. So this was my second bot that I tried and I wanted to make a note of that. This is my NJ, INJ long DCA bot with my trailing take profit. So it kind of keeps me um, on the, the way of what bots are doing what. So right now my BTC bot is $120 currently. I still have a max value of $300. Uh, ETH is $20 currently, $110 max value. And uh, INJ is $54 with $135. And then you can keep going. My total profit so far, far on all of these $22, $3, and 158 And then unrealized profit, it tells you. Your average daily profit, so my average. So if you take this whole time and you break that 2204 up into 8 days and 13 hours, the average profit is about $2.58 a day. So that is a little under 1% of my total value. But... It's not too bad. Um, so I'm getting about a half a percent with my ETH and 0.38% with my INJ, which I'm happy with. Um, tells you the status. So if they are, uh, if you've stopped them or if they have stopped for some reason, say you set a bot up wrong, it will end up telling you if they're open or if they're closed. Um, I believe it also, if you max it out all the way on the DCA, I think it'll say yellow or red for like 80% max. And then you also have how many deals you have on the other side. So I am liking it so far. Um, I'm interested and I am excited to continue going on some of these. I just, I am wanting to make sure that I have a good working knowledge of them before I start anything else. All right. So if you are interested in these, click the link. Um, I am in Ganium, the Discord. So if you are interested, um, you can DM me, you can ping me, I can give you my link. You can sign up today. Um, I'm going to put a link in the below in the description and in the video at the beginning. All right. So if this is something you're interested in, Make sure you click that link. Make sure you sign up. And if you need help, let me know. Okay. As always, I hope everyone here is being responsible with their money. Okay. I know that a lot of people right now are looking at it like, oh, Bitcoin's getting ready to start going. We're not out of the woods yet. Okay. So we still have bearish tendencies. We still could potentially have a bull market coming on. I'm still very hesitant to go all in on every, anything. Um, so don't use money that you need tomorrow. Like this is going to be passive stuff. This is not a get rich quick thing. So make sure you're being responsible for your money with your money. And as always, I want you all to ha have a great week trading and I want you to stay green. See you next time.